This is the TV Today Network and you are watching Headlines Today. That of swine flu have in fact now tested negative. Thank you very much Kamaljeet for joining us with that latest update. But of course panic still remains. Indians who were planning a European summer now prefer to stay back. On the other hand, foreign tourists planning an India trip too are in a dilemma after the economic meltdown. The tourism industry has taken another hit in this peak season all thanks to the swine flu scare. As if the meltdown wasn't enough, swine flu has spelled more bad news for the tourism industry and the timing couldn't have been worse. This is peak tourist season for travellers taking off for destinations like Europe and the US regions reeling under the H1N1 assault. The result? Bookings are down and cancellations have got the travel agents worried. Swine flu on the first day of reporting, on the first two days of the reporting, saw a 4 to 6 percent drop in traffic. And uh, the advisory committees have, have uh, suggested for people out of India also not to travel uh, to uh, the affected areas. And the Sabhawals had their bags packed. They were all set to leave for Europe. But the bug forced a sudden change of plans. Everything was set, so we were like very, very excited about it. But since yesterday morning, we heard about this flu. So it doesn't seem a great idea venturing out. When you are traveling in a foreign land, especially on a holiday, you don't even think about such things. And if it comes to you as a surprise, then your holiday goes for a six. The scare is also keeping foreign tourists away from Indian shores. Many have put off their India travel plans for now. Recession made occupancy and tariffs in and around the national capital region dip by 20%. But even that has failed to attract tourists. No one is willing to take a risk. This despite the fact that India so far hasn't been hit. I think there is more panic. I also received a message of some people who are coming to Delhi. They are staying at the Moria Sheraton from Malaysia. And they said we are trying to postpone our trip because of sign flu. The industry, however, is looking at the brighter side of things. The sector has its hopes pinned on the domestic tourists. If not exactly by the pandemic, travel industry for sure has been hit by the panic attack. Not only have the bookings slowed down, but there have been cancellations as well as the fear of the swine flu travels from one country to another. One just hopes that things won't get worse for the travel industry, which is already grappling with the recession. Vishakhat Reja in New Delhi for Headlines Today. This is the TV Today Network and you are watching Headlines Today.